If this video title looks familiar to you, it's because it is. Almost three years ago to this day, I came out with a video with this exact same title. But over that time, our understanding and methods of brewing espresso has changed quite a bit, and even my espresso game has evolved, so I thought maybe it's a good time to update the list to be a bit more contemporary. But the reasons why I chose these tools hasn't changed. For me, each one has been in near constant use on my bar, and each one is aimed at helping you get more out of your espresso, in terms of consistency, and most importantly, flavor. First up is the unique looking, and I think fun to use, WDT tool. WDT stands for Weiss Distribution Technique, and it's essentially using a needle tool to gently stir and break up any clumps in the grinds. This creates a more even grind consistency throughout the puck. The results of this speak for themselves, with a decreased occurrence of channeling, which also means cleaner shots and higher extractions. So simply put, just by stirring your grinds, you'll be getting more flavor out of your coffee and into your cup. When it comes to brewing espresso or even coffee in general, gram weight and time are some of the main focus factors. They serve as a way to help you develop your understanding of how contact time, which is the time water is in contact with your coffee, and brew weight, which is kind of self-explanatory, affect what you taste and the espresso itself. In the simplest of terms, the longer water is in contact with your coffee, the more flavor is pulled out, and vice versa. And brew weight will generally show you that in lower amounts, it will increase the flavor intensity, acidity, and body of your shot, while the higher weights will spread out that intensity, giving you more clarity and nuance. The simple, unassuming tamper is kind of the unsung hero when it comes to espresso culture, but it can and does make a big difference. Most espresso machines come with a tamper, but oftentimes they feel rickety and just plain awkward. So picking up one that gives you some room to adjust and fit to your grip can do wonders in terms of comfort, and that directly translates into your espresso's consistency. They come in many shapes, sizes, and weights, and if you're really trying to maximize your workflow, a press or a palm tamper may be the way to go, as there's never a risk of under or over tamping. For me, over the years, I found it hard to let go of my standard tamper, and I love the feel of my Pullman Big Step, especially when it's paired with their espresso basket, which creates that perfect glove-like fit. And there you have it. Those are my top three must-have espresso tools updated for 2022, and each one is aimed at giving you more consistency, more comfort, and of course, most importantly, more flavor when making your espresso. As always, if you have any questions regarding espresso tools or any additions you'd like to make to the list, drop them in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Spermetheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.